Going to the symphony may be a luxury many people cannot afford, but that's not the case in Bend. The Central Oregon Symphony tries to make classical music accessible to everyone. They offer free tickets to their concerts, and for the last nine years, they've done music in public places. It's an opportunity for people who might not attend the symphony's concerts to be exposed to the glories of classical music. I'm Kelly Blyer, and this is the Heart of the Arts on Take 5. This is Brahms string sextet in B-flat major. You wouldn't expect to hear it at a Bend hotel, but that's where a full room at the new Oxford Hotel heard it. <music> Celloist Janet Gesme likes performing chamber music in these intimate settings. In a chamber group, each member of the group is responsible for their creative input. You are a part of deciding how the piece goes and you affect each other. There's, um, it, it's a very much a team atmosphere because people have to agree on their interpretation instead of being a dictatorship like the orchestra <laughs> <laughs> with one person in control. It's a, a room full of people that need to agree on, on how they think a piece of music should go. So it's really nice. It's, it's a good setting for making music. Viola player Leslie Knight helped coordinate the performance at the Oxford Hotel. I've always been a big fan of Brahms, and we have some pretty great players here in Central Oregon, and so I imposed upon them to get together with me several times. <laughs> Janet Gesme says Brahms' six-piece orchestration was deliberate. The Brahms sextet is um, its interesting because it has two cellos and two violas and two violins, and that makes it a very bottom-heavy piece. It's very dark and heavy and... Um, but it doesn't necessarily make it foreboding. It's pretty happy. Brahms, when he was writing chamber music, was trying to avoid writing chamber music that other people had written, like quartets, because he was compared to Beethoven, and he had a horrible complex about being compared to Beethoven, so he never wanted to write a string quartet. So he mixed up the instrumentation just so that people couldn't compare him to Beethoven. <laughs> Performances like music in public places help bring this beautiful music to everyone. The concept behind it is to get music in places that people wouldn't normally expect to see classical music happening, like in the libraries or hospitals, or it's been done in the High Desert Museum. Trying to put music in places that people are already going to be, and just to make uh, their day a little more special because they heard some classical music. Danielle Purdy is the executive director of the Central Oregon Symphony. We're just, we're just trying to increase its visibility so that more people are aware that we're, that we're holding these concerts. And we, what we like to do is go into businesses. So it kind of, it's a collaboration. We ask that uh, wherever we go, the venue is provided to the symphony free of charge. And we do, we pay the musicians, but we kind of work with the venue. We've been at St. Charles Medical Center. We've been at the Deschutes Public Library here in Bend and in Redmond at the Redmond Historic Church. We, we were at the Loft during Art Walk and we've been at the High Desert Museum. And it's really a gem of a program. It provides a, almost a serendipitous music experience for people who are going about their daily business. They might not know that the concert is there, but they happen upon the music and we love that element of it. I'm a huge proponent of you know, telling people that, you know, people who don't even realize they like classical music, they really like it because, you know, it's in our movies, it's, it's a, classical music is layered in a lot of our art forms, and so it's out there. I mean, if you were watching a movie and everybody's caught up in the drama in the moment and the music stops, you would pull us out of it. And so it's really interesting to find people, sometimes people are brought because they're attending with somebody who is, who does love the classical music, and, and they find that they enjoy it. I'm Kelly Blyer. Heart of the Arts on Take 5 is a production of KBND. Depend on us.